No way today was pretty cool. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. How are we? Oh yeah. Do we have anybody here? Anybody live yet? Happy Saturday. Oh, oh, we have a special guest today. We have Coach Karan with us. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you, <laughs> you guys. Wanted to show up do the workout. It is a great one today. You actually don't even need weights for this one. I know. This is Sunny. exciting. Do they tell you what kind of a day it is? Like, um, they give you the focus of the block. So overall, today is a lot of power. A lot of power. A lot of power. What up, Victoria? Good morning. I see Dre's in here. Ooh. Ooh. What's up? What's up, Orange family? Everybody knew as well, if you don't know what Orange Theory is, it is that 60 minute um, interval training designed to get your post burn. Um, always love with a certified coach. A little bit different as we do the at home version today, but when we get back and ready, definitely come check it out if you haven't um, participated yet. Alright, so. Are we going then? Yeah, are we, are we starting? Are we All ready? All right, for those who are following along, you can follow along with the video or with us. We'll be doing the same time. We're going to start off with the warm up. It's five minutes. Each of our exercises we're going to do for one minute. So I'll have Anna and Koran alongside me. Our first exercise is going to be. Ah! Sorry. Sorry. Little minor te technical errors, but we're still <laughs> I want to make sure that you can see the heart rate monitor board just in case. Oh, Dre's here. All right, everybody. So Toronto. our first one we're going to do is arm circles. Okay. Each of these exercises are one minute each. So in arm circles, we will do 30 seconds forward and 30 seconds back. In the video, they're holding shoes if you'd like to hold light weights. Shoulders relax and back away from the ears. Again, forward for 30 and back for 30. I'll be timing. I'll keep the chest proud, eyes forward. Okay. We have 15 seconds till we switch. All right, let's go ahead and switch in three, two, one. We're going reverse. Again, if you want to add weight, you can. It doesn't have to be super heavy weight. You can follow along on YouTube. They are using shoes. <laughs> Not more than five pounds. All right, and we're gonna shut that one down in three, two, one. Our next one is our squat and overhead reach. So we're gonna do this a hip style movement. Heels shoulder apart as we squat, arms gonna come over the top. Drive through the heels, make sure your knees don't go past your toes, then your heels don't lift off the ground. And we'll run through that for a minute. In the video, they're using a towel to have tension in between their hands, that is optional, or you can add a weight. Let's rock in one minute. my quads from yesterday doing all those jump forwards and walk backs definitely quads are burning yesterday oh yeah legs are definitely burning today <laughs> <laughs> we're halfway we got 30 seconds i feel like me and corona the siamese twins emoji <laughs> <laughs> on point right in the line like when we did all those squat jumps. We got some Orange family joining. We got 10 seconds. Three, two, one. The next one is the caustic squat, which is really just a body weight lateral lunge. Heels, our, our toes are pointing forward. We're gonna shift our weight side to side. Hips are gonna fall forward naturally. Can't keep that weight in the heel. Pausing side to side for one minute. And let's go to three. Two, one. Okay, the same point as if we were doing a standard squat, you want to keep the chest lifted, eyes forward, chin to be parallel with the ground. And I'll move this heel up just a little bit. Forward, forward. Take forward. Yeah, there you go. That one's a little bit further back in the middle. We are halfway, 30 seconds. If you're just joining, you haven't missed the workout yet, just go through the warm up. And in three, 
two, one. And our next one is going to be our seal jacks. So starting with the feet together, palms in front. We're hopping in and out as your hands come out. So do your legs. I'll show this one. You can step with it side to side. Let's rock it in three, two, one. Let's go. <laughs> Might get a little bit of sweat going on this one. So we don't have to break the fans off. Right? <laughs> what do you think? Fans. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I think if you want to add mini fans, you could. Probably not the one though. We already got Anna in some green. What's going on? Let's get in there. We're halfway 30 seconds. We only have one more warm up exercise after this. Come on, Anna. I feel the orange. <laughs> and three, two, one. And our last one is going to be one minute of wide mountain flippers. Wrist up the shoulders, back and hips flat. Bring your heel up next to your palm, switching it out. Option on this one, just stepping it in and stepping it out. Not as quick as a transition. Let's hit that last warm up exercise, guys. In three, two, one, let's go. So, gonna bring your heel all the way up to your palm. And if you get it right here, you hear? Yep, yep, there you go. It's gonna help you loosen up. Another option would be to do a standard mountain climber, just keep the feet in close. So good stretch, we're halfway, 30 seconds. Then we will be getting into our first block. So then is gonna start off strong. You got it, you gotta keep going, keep going. You'll have some time, so we get the next 15 seconds. Probably got a few more up. All right, in three, two, one, perfect. So our first block today is gonna to be cardio power. So this is where we'll do our cardio push. And again, if you have a treadmill, you can always do intervals on there. I would suggest maybe like a three minute push, two minute base, and one minute all out as well suggest and her momentum shift up with video. But for our cardio power block, it's gonna be four minutes. At Tabata style, we're going with high knees. You're gonna do 20, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for eight rounds. So a total of four minutes. On the side knees, we're looking to do an all out type of intensity. Option on our CD, we're coming high above the waistline. Option on this one, we can march with it side to side. So I'll have my models come out and get ready to go. Again, it is for four minutes straight, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, eight rounds. Let's hit it in three, two, one, high knees. So this is our cardio portion, so we should be getting some sweat. Definitely gonna earn some splats over here. We're halfway, 10 seconds. We're gonna earn our recovery. Yeah. In three, two, one, shake it loose, shake it loose. You got 10 seconds, then we're on to round number two. And we are live in three, two, one, high knees. So here we're looking for high intensity, short bursts. It should feel like an all out. This should be very uncomfortable. While we're on, we're halfway, 10 seconds. Three, two, one. 10 seconds to shake it loose. Take a breather. And we are back in three. Two, one, let's go. 20 seconds, round number three. We're one minute down and three to go. I hope you guys can see the board on there, but we do have some red going on. So again, it is an all out time. I feel probably gonna see some orange. We're halfway, 15 seconds. All right, 10 seconds. And three, two, one. Shake it loose, shake it loose. Deep breaths into the nose, out through the mouth as we relax. And back at it in three, two, one, let's go. So looking to get those knees high if we can, all the way up, yep, yep, yep. That's got it, aim it high. Five seconds. 
A three, two, one, recovery. Whew. Taking a breather, we're halfway, four rounds down, four to go, and we're back in three, two, one, let's go. You got two more minutes. Halfway, 10 seconds. Remember what we like to say, the second half should be as good or better than the first half. We gotta stay strong, find that motivation. Recovery in three, two, one, recovery. Shake it loose, shake it loose. We'll have some time to grab some water after this. Stay engaged. We are back at it in three, two, one. Let's go, we got 90 seconds, 90 seconds. Banana. We're halfway, 10 seconds. This is where we get those goals at the end. We're already sore, we're already burdened. This is our cardio for the day in three, two, one, recovery. We got one more minute to go, two more rounds. You're six rounds in, two to go. Let's get it in three, two, one, let's go, let's go. High knees, high knees. Okay, this is an all out intensity. We are looking for some orange or red if you have your heart rate monitor paired. Halfway, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, recovery. One more, one more, one more. In three, two, one, the last round, round number eight. Don't cheat yourself. Ha! Roll out the shoulders, but keep them relaxed, away from the ears, your core is engaged all the way. We got five seconds. In three, two, one. Awesome work, everybody. Come on, home, grab a drink of water, shake it loose. We're gonna go over our total body power block next. This one's gonna be 10 minutes. It's a little different concept. It is every minute on the minute. Um, so we will have three exercises. You'll have one minute to complete the reps. If you complete the reps, the rest of that minute is your recovery time. And I'll explain a little bit further. So for example, we have 10 full burpees as our third exercise. If you complete the 10 burpees in 40 seconds, you have 20 seconds to recover. So it's one minute to knock out the reps. Whatever time you have left is your recovery. We're gonna see three rounds of those three exercises. We're gonna finish it off with a one minute plank hold. Total block is 10 minutes. Our first exercise is our squat to alternate reverse lunge. That'll be two lunges for one rep. Heels shoulder apart, chest lifted, eyes forward. Gonna sit back into it, weight the heels. Come up at the top. We're gonna hit our reverse lunge on each leg. Come back, your back heel should be pointed to the ceiling. Get chest lifted, weight is in the center. Two reps, that counts as one. So again, knock out your squat. Two reverse lunges, one on each leg. That is one rep, we have 10 reps. Game goals, complete that in a minute. Whatever you have left is your recovery. Then we're moving on to plank shoulder taps. Wrist on your shoulders, back and hips square up the ground. Tap your shoulder, replace it. Goal here is keep your hips from rocking. Option, walk on your toes or drop to the knees. And then our last one's gonna be our full burpee. Very important on form. We wanna squat as we come down, place your hands, hop in, in and out, push up into it, going vertical at the top. Option this one, walk it out, push up from the knees, Walk it back in, calf raise at the top. Again, we're working through those three exercises. We're gonna finish off with a plank hold for the last minute. Three rounds, every minute, all the minute. Well, let's get ready to get it. Anna and Coach Karan. So we're starting off squats to alternate reverse lunge, 10 reps in three, two, one, let's go. Again, if you're following along, you have one minute to knock out 10 reps. Whatever time you have remaining is your recovery. If you are able to get all 10 reps in a minute, once that minute is up, you move right along to the next exercise. We are halfway, we have 30 seconds. Option on either movement is to reduce the range of motion. So we're gonna have to come as a little on the squat or on the lunge. We got 10 seconds. Did you get 10 drops? No, close, close. In three, 
two, a one. We are moving on to the plank shoulder taps. And that is 20 reps, total 10 on each shoulder. One minute to knock it out, right into it. If you can see, Coach Ron has a nice straight line. His core is engaged. Again, a couple of key pointers to engage that core is prepare, like you're preparing for a punch, keep it tight, or you can, um, a physical movement, drawing the belly button away from the waistband. So more of a hollow hold type of feel. We have 30 seconds, so Coach Ron already knocked out his 20 reps. He has 30 seconds recovery before we go on to the full burpee. So again, it's called every minute on the minute. And then also, we only got 20 seconds and then it is full burpees. Rocking the push-up and the jump options. You can take it to a calf raise, push-up from the knees, walking it in, walking it out. We got 10 seconds. Get ready, 10 burpees, your favorite. It's not a workout without the burpees, is it? Let's hit it in three, two, one, burpees. We are working the total body explosive power today. Every rep is explosive. We're catching the heels wide, saving the knees. Here we go, looking great, looking great. We're halfway, 30 seconds, knock down 10. You gotta get 10. Either 10 or work for the full minute. Awesome work. If you're just joining again, we're working through our total body power block. Every minute on the minute, we have one minute to knock out the reps. Whatever time you're remaining is yours for recovery. We're working three rounds. we got 10 seconds, and we're hopping right back into the squat to alternate reverse lunge. Let's go to it in three, two, one. Let's hit it. Squat to alternate reverse lunges. Again, one minute to knock out 10 reps. If we work through all 10, the rest of that minute recovery is yours. Again, no worries if you don't make it through all 10. We'll just roll right into the next exercise at the end of a minute. We're halfway, 30 seconds. If you find your balance a little bit off on those reverse lunges, you can widen your stance to give it as train tracks and not a tightrope. So you don't want your legs directly behind each other. Have a little bit of space between those heels. We have 10 seconds until we see our plank shoulder taps. We are transitioning in three, two, one. Let's go for the shoulder taps. So again, primary focus is keeping those hips directly toward the ground like it's headlights. It shouldn't run at all. Core is solid and engaged. I think we could get tight right here. Perfect, perfect. There we go. It's a conscious effort. Remember those options are to widen the stance or to drop to the knees. We have 30 seconds. So again, if you knocked out your 20 reps, Recover, you got some water, take a quick drink. We are going to see 10 burpees. Yes. We're, we're tired, but we still numbers. got the smiles going on. That's what we need. Yeah. 10 seconds. Come on, we can do it. Let's knock out those burpees in three, two, one, and burpees. We're halfway through this block, five minutes down and five to go. So it'll be a total of three rounds of those exercises and then we'll finish off with a one minute plank hold. There we go, landing wide on the heels. Sometimes it's easy to arch the back when we come down, when we get tired, make sure it is a squat when we are sitting down, placing the hands on the ground, and going for it. That's 20 seconds. Mr. Ron has earned his recovery. Well earned. Got a little bit of sweat. We are rocking. And it's got, it got 10 seconds. So this will be the last round. We are going into it in three. 
two, lunge back to your squats and alternating reverse lunge. Get one on each leg, 10 reps total here. Last target to see each of these three exercises, so making the most of it. I might as well get on the pin on a little bit. <laughs> We're halfway, 30 seconds. Fighting the bird. Ten seconds, knocking out those last couple reps. And we have our shoulder taps in three, two, one, shoulder taps. So nice straight line of the body. Make sure the wrist is underneath the shoulder. Again, replacing and returning. Huh? <laughs> yeah, you can do it from your knees. So it's, it's perfectly fine to do it from the knees. And we are halfway 30 seconds until burpees. Last round of burpees. Okay, we have one minute to knock out 10, then we'll go right into that one minute pulling cold. Got 15 seconds out of the last round with you guys. Can't let you have all the fun. 10 seconds. I think I'll be doing any burpees today, but you know, good things all around. Let's hit it in three, two, a one, and burpees. Halfway, 30 seconds. Get the option to walk it out, push up from the knees. Got 15 seconds, and we're right into that oh, last no. minute. It's gonna be a plank. You see something? Oh, orange. Oh, we got everybody in the orange. Hey! We have plank all in three. Two, one, plank and hold. Get elbows underneath the shoulders. Core is engaged. Left backs. Option, walk out the toes or drop to the knees. You guys are doing great. We just have one more block after this before flexibility. Halfway, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. And it's out of the court. There we go, there we go, you got it. Got the ground looking strong, looking strong. Woo! It burns so good, we got 15 seconds. If you're one of those people that counts down, go ahead and go for it. Five, four, three, Two, one, perfect. Woo. All right, everybody, again, take a breather, sip of water. We do have our next block. Okay, this is the last of our blocks before flexibility. This one is four minutes. We have two exercises. We're gonna work our way down in the count. So we're gonna start off at 10 reps each, nine reps, eight reps, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And you work your way back and forth. Um, get more of a power focus where we're going to do squat jacks and plank jacks. So start with your feet out wide as they come in over top. So we're going to land on those heels. Option on this one. We're going to step out with it side to side. And we're doing that, just splitting the reps in half on each leg. Your next one is going to be plank jacks in the high plank position. Wrist of the shoulders again. Goal here is to keep your hips from rocking. We don't want the butt to bounce. In and out, option with this one, step with it side to side, 
or we can come to a low plank, also dropping the opposite knee. So again, we got four minutes to get it done, starting on 10 reps each, working your way down by one rep on each exercise. Last four minutes before flexibility, let's go in three, two, one, let's go. So landing in those heels, catching it wide. If you wanna go for a clap at the top. Perfect, perfect. Everybody's doing great, starting off their Saturday strong. So in each round, you are knocking off a rep. So we are on to the nine round, nine rep round over here. So we're gonna catch those heels a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. And 30, landing softly. We are one minute down and three to go. Nothing but flexibility after this. This is the home stretch. Woo! How's my feeling if you can access it? You see we got some waves going on. <laughs> there you go. I'm right along with you. <laughs> Again, remember those cues when we're working through our core movements. It's engaged, meaning you're preparing for a punch. Somebody's going to hit you right in the core. You want to have it tight and prepared. We are halfway. Two minutes down and two to go. Get that bonus, you get to knock off a rep every round. That means we also want to keep that same power at every single rep is explosive. Ain't that right, Anna? Yes. Yes. Oh. Pranos. There we go, there we go. We got 90 seconds, what are you gonna do with it? And we're just looking to get as far along as we can. Ah. Breathe it, breathe it, breathe it, motivation. Four, two, one. Our bodies may be quarantined, but our minds don't have to be. Got one minute, 60 seconds of hard work, and you get to stretch and enjoy that victory. Yeah. <laughs> we got 30 seconds. This is the home stretch. Flexibility is a portion of the workout when it helps make sure we can prevent those injuries as much as possible, loosening up the bodies, lower the heart rates after that amazing workout. So we are going to run through a couple movements, can hold them for 20 seconds each if you can follow along. Our first one is going to be our standing overhead reach to the side. So lock the fingers together, reach it up tall over top. He's got the back loop. Reach it up tall over top. I'm going to lean to one side, keep that core engaged in 20 seconds. As we do this, breathing slow into the nose, out to the mouth. We got 10 seconds till we switch sides. 
go ahead and take it to the opposite side in three, two, one. Whichever side you were at before, just slowly transition to the opposite. Ten seconds. All right, we're gonna transition to our next one. We have the standing toe reach. So you wanna hinge at the hips, keep that core engaged, we're reaching out as far as you can. If you're going to the knees, to the calves, or all the way to the floor. Make sure you keep your back straight. Let's go for it in three, two, or one. So we're gonna help stretch out that posterior chain, your calves, your hamstrings. Loose, you know, yeah, it depends a little bit on the flexibility, so if you can't reach all the way to the ground, just reaching as far as you can. Make sure we don't have any pain. Let's release it in three, two, one. We're going to come into a high plank position. Wrists underneath your shoulders. Press the hips back. We're going to the downward dog. Walk the hands a little bit in. And also work in that pumping motion. So opposite, pressing your heels to the ground, rotating back and forth. For a couple cycles, you can keep your breathing controlled. And release our last one. We do our runner's lunge. We love that stretch. So taking a big step out, one knee down, working that rotation. Both hands on the inside of your heel, rotate up and out. Step in the inside and rotate out. And release in three, two, one. Awesome work, everybody. We're gonna stick around for some questions or yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're gonna come up front. Stick around for some questions. If you have some questions or some comments, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you had as much fun as we do. Um, you know, still a great way to connect with you guys, even as we fight the coronavirus. Yeah. So if you have anything, you have any questions, or if you want to type anything down, we got Dre rocking the fist bumps and the oranges. We got Emily with the hearts. Awesome, awesome. Loving the orange. Oh. Yeah, what we got going Give on. Give thumbs up. Who did the workout with us? Remember, take a picture of that summary if you can, yeah. or a Sony selfie, I know sometimes. So. If you haven't linked up your heart rate monitor yet, definitely want to do that just to help you stay motivated and see those results. They will still record. You guys, that was a rough one today. Let's see. 360 calories from a half hour. I got 19 spot points. Yeah. I got 380 calories, nine so spot points. We got a calorie for every day of the year almost. <laughs> Ron's a little bit over. Yeah. Yeah, you guys, this one. It's, it's a I did get one sweat on myself. The birdies, so. Hey. Yeah, look at Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dre's at work. Dre, you better be doing this later. Um, I know that we're going to have, so we're going live at 7 a.m. every single day while we're closed down. Our other studios will also be going live in the area just at different times of the day. Um, so we've got Connellville, Ellisville, Central West End, and Creek Corp. Yes. Yeah, so if you do miss a 7 a.m. live workout but you're still wanting to get one in with your your Orange family, then definitely check out some of those other pages for the lives in the later portion of the day. Um, otherwise, if you're 7 a.m., we'll see you here every morning. Uh, next week, we're going to start doing some member calls, so little calls together. Um, we'll announce kind of the times and days that we're doing that, but it's going to start on Monday. So look out for that. We definitely want to chat with you guys. I mean, we love, we love messaging with you guys on here, but 
you know, talking kind of face to face and being able to hear your guys' voices is awesome. So we want to be able to do that. Um, so we'll start that next week. Um, the details will be announced on that shortly. Um, other than that, what else we got going on? Um, well, some of the studios we're going to try, and since this was the dry try weekend, um, yeah. you watch Coach Olivia, she's believe she's going to at is it 9 or 10 8? 8. 8? Oh, she's, oh, so. Well, Coach Olivia, um, we'll be going live with her workout at 8, 8 a.m. But she's going to try to do more of like the dry try kind of thing going on, um, since that was supposed to be this weekend. Again, that, that's postponed, that will be coming up, um, you know, once we get things rolling again, so we'll still have a dry try venture. But check out Coach Olivia at 8 a.m. In 20 minutes, 20 yeah. minutes, Cottleville, Orange Theory Fitness, Cottleville. So if you guys are looking to get in a little dry try action, it's a dry try inspired workout by her and Aaron, Coach Aaron over there. So definitely check that out. Um, yeah. Got any motivation for this first cry? You know what? It takes an odd person to be number one. There you go. Okay. <laughs> there you go. All right, guys. Well, well yeah, thank, thank you, you for, for joining us. Yes. Thank you, Karan, for working out with us this Woo! morning. Um, if we missed you this morning, hopefully we see you tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Um, other than that, have a wonderful Saturday. Be safe. Stay um, positive. Stay positive. Smile. Smile. Smile, Smile baby. Smile. Smile. All righty, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Come <laughs>